now we're going to get into the pour your heart out segment. Our favorite segment. Yes. If you have a question you want answered on the show, make sure you email us at askpoorminds at mm. gmail.com. Um, you want to start getting you wanna... spicy this week? You want me to start or you want to start? I'll read it. Mm. Mm. I'm scared. Hello, Lex and Drea. Me and my wife have done X and Molly and have had threesomes on special occasions like my B-Day and hers and sometimes just when we are rolling. Is you rolling? Bitch, I might. Be. Hey. Okay. Now, my wife doesn't want to have them and the sex has been boring. I used to live with two girls, so my sex drive and stamina is high and she really only satisfies me when we're on Molly or X. Mm. I try to ask her about having them once in a while, but she is just not having it. I live in Dallas and have a successful business, so I don't want to find a side piece. But being a Scorpio, I just want to be nasty sometimes and she just not witty. Like when we're rolling, what should I do? Go to rehab. <laughs> Cause my nigga. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Nah, dead ass though. No, I'm I'm go mean, to rehab. I'm cause not, why the fuck you only having good sex when you high as fuck? I'm not being judgy. Like, you know, I smoke well, a little crack. Us. That ain't being judgy. He asked. I, I smoke a little crack, suck a little dick, you know what I'm saying? We all done got that. I over. really would like for you to stop telling people that you smoke crack. Cause I don't want people thinking I hang with a crackhead. Well, <laughs> You was hanging with crackheads before me, but I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> Anyways, um, I do feel like you can't make somebody want to do drugs if they don't want to do drugs. All jokes aside. Um, maybe you should uh, pull back on the drugs a little bit. And you probably don't have no feeling in your dick. That's probably why. Why would you think he don't have feeling in his dick? Because, I mean, when you take an X and Molly, you just be like. <laughs> it don't stop. It don't fucking stop. No, I ain't gonna lie. The one time that I fucking did X and did, well, I guess two times I did it, mm. did both before. It was just a wild ass experience. That's what I'm and saying. I did not like it. I was like, I'm not doing this shit no more. It's not for me. So, but I was horny as fuck. That's so what I I'm get saying. what he's saying. Yeah, like maybe you should dial back a little bit and y'all should have like start having sober sex together again and also you know have a conversation with her about it maybe she'll you know y'all can find an alternative but like i said um i'm not into like trying to p pressure somebody into doing drugs so the sex can yeah be you better. just need to go find a crackhead not me though that's what it sound like not me though yeah, Lex say she not available, but you know, <laughs> maybe you just need to go find you a crackhead or something. Cause yeah, you can't be pressuring people to have yeah sex. I mean, well, get high to have sex with yeah, you yeah. if that's not what they want to do. Maybe y'all should try to have like a wine night. Wine sex is good. Maybe just get her a little tipsy or something. Normal stuff. Maybe, they, but it seems like they probably have tried that. He wanted to take that pill. He like bitch. <laughs> Take this motherfucking pee. And if she listen to this girl, cover your drink when y'all at dinner, cause he don't sound too trustworthy, no. Nah, he don't. <laughs> mm -mm, I don't like this. Taste. No, but all serious, I feel like, you know, maybe just try to have some sober sex and build up to, you know, getting freakier whenever you're sober. And why Scorpios always talking about, but cause I'm a Scorpio. Cause they are extremely horny. Scorpios are very horny. They are, but like I don't know. I feel like they be thinking that all of them like be... Well, first of all, they, I said they're extremely horny. They don't all be good and bad. <laughs> they but be I, like... I feel like they they're a sex I think, I think it's a stigma that like Scorpios are all good and bad. And that's and that some bullshit. Not true. Yeah. I'm not talking about you, We're not talking about you, but yeah, Obviously. Okay, so question two. Hey, Dre and Lex, I could really use your advice. I'm a 22-year-old and I have been with not my... 22. 22. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Shout out to Baltimore. <laughs> I'm a 22-year-old, <laughs> and I have been with my 24-year-old boyfriend for almost three years now. He is extremely successful, and money just seems to... Oh, why can't I read today? You and can't read just, every day. Mm, Craig, like, fuck, these ads about to be fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and money just seems to follow him with everything he does. He takes care of me and, well, loves me better than I've ever been loved before. Why is your boo calling me? And oh. makes me feel like Ooh. a queen. But we live he together. He is for real. That's crazy. <laughs> he takes care of me and, well, loves me better than I've ever been loved before and makes me feel like a queen. We live together and I don't pay for anything. Rent, bills, shopping, you name it. Nor do I have a job. My family loves him. My friends wish they had a man like him and are always 
joking about how I'm a rich housewife, but sometimes a part of me feels like I'm missing out on my 20s. Am I silly for thinking this? He is everything a girl could want, and I know I won't be able to find anything else like this in these Atlanta streets. Everything is pointing to this guy being the one, but I feel like I'm too young to see how perfect he is. Please help. Um, You can go ahead. Go ahead. Why the fuck do y'all be thinking these the lead to fuck a whole bunch of niggas? These streets is not nice. The is not nice. It's ugly out here. Because let me tell you something. If I could have found a fucking good ass man when I was 22 years old, I would have been happy as fuck. Yeah. And I feel like I wouldn't feel like I'm missing out on anything. Like, you gotta, y'all gotta, you gotta stop thinking that y'all missing out on stuff by being with one dude. Like, it's nothing. I know what me and Lex say on the show and, like, the things we talk about. But, it's but we're nothing. single. But we're single and we just have not found the right person yet. But I absolutely... I mean, I have. I absolutely don't see anything wrong with being with one man. Right. It's nothing wrong with Especially it. Especially if he's I mean, doing everything for you. The problem with us, why we be having multiple niggas, is because one of them don't be doing everything we need them to do. I, see, but you if got, I found she, one... You said you got rent, bills, shopping. I have to got... I got three niggas. For but three. All three. I got one rent nigga, one bill nigga, and one shopping nigga. <laughs> But you got it all in one. You winning. I mean, you are 22. You are young. So if you, I think this goes into having a life outside of your boyfriend as far as hanging out with your friends, being right. around your family. You can still have fun and have a life, but be faithful or still be with your man. I think a lot of times women get caught up in being a girlfriend and all they do is be up under their man all the time. You can still have fun. Go on vacations with your girlfriends. Have fun. Live. You can still be in the streets and have fun and go home to your nigga. You don't even work, girl. Go out and have fun. You ain't got to get up for work. Shit. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think you just need to find your own identity outside of the outside, outside of, the of the relationship. And even though you don't have a job, like, do you have a hobby? Do you have maybe a business that you want to start? Something that you want to do so mm -hmm. that you can create your own identity outside of being, you know, in a relationship with this guy? So, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Question number three. Hey, ladies, I'm from Houston and make music. There's a big time person in the industry in the city that's been trying to get at me, and you could definitely call him a BDB. Well, not if it's rapper, babe, but go ahead. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> but it's clear that he has no intentions on spending time spending on me until I give up Garfield. And I have no intentions to give it up until I see that it'll be beneficial. Specifically in the same space of my music career since I know he could pull major strings. Ooh. Let me keep reading. There's another guy who works around him that I genuinely like who also has connections and wants to help me elevate. But the BDB is definitely the big dog. If you were in my position, how would you navigate the situation? I want to further my career and make solid connections, but it's hard because a lot of people I meet are attracted wait are attracted to also happen to be in this small ass industry i love to hear y'all's perspective on navigating the entertainment industry as a fine woman who's trying to make real connections but niggas are always why are you to laughing LOL. why are you laughing because it just reminds me of someone i know oh i'm gonna say something got us canceled again what you was about to say i was about to sing a song you said you remind me of something what songs start off like that Never mind. You remind me of my G. Oh, shh. But no, we ain't talk about that, nigga. Oh no, I wasn't. Oh, anyways, uh, okay. So let me say this: when you are trying to work, it don't matter if you ugly, fine, old, young. Work. Keep it professional. Yeah. There is no reason any of these conversations about fucking and this and that need to be happening. If I feel like I'm trying to work with you and you flirting, I I know how to control and navigate a conversation. You trying to get your work done. Let me tell you something. It's so many women and men out here who have fucked themselves over by fucking people mm -hmm. and they not nowhere. They talented as hell living on their mama couch because they think they pussy going to get them somewhere or they dick going to get them somewhere. Don't work like that. It never works out. It's never a good idea to fuck people that you're trying to work with or fuck people in the same industry. That Even trying, trying to date. Anytime he brings up taking you out, this is Well, you know what? I can't do that, but let me know next time you go into the studio. That is easy. Yeah. I would never fuck another podcaster. I'm trying to think if I did so I can say... <laughs> I would or too. like somebody who like works in the podcasting industry like 
none of that shit. Now, I done fuck some entertainment, like some music niggas, but I ain't trying to be a rapper. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but you could definitely drop a fire album if you wanted to. I could, though. You I, got a, good... I, got a few, I got a few good connects. I'm dead. But, yeah, you know, no, I don't feel like... I don't you... feel like you should fuck people that you're Especially trying to Especially in Houston, because let me tell you about the Houston, Houston niggas. Small. Houston, that industry, the music industry in Houston is so fucking tiny, dog. Oh, my God. Them niggas all be hanging out. They all be fucking talking. I done been in the studio. I done been in the stew a few times. Did I Have I ever talked to, like, a Houston rapper or anything? I hope not. I hope not. I don't think so. Don't That's think so. sad we done talked to enough people where we like, did I? <laughs> You gotta you think about you it. Remember? We some old hoes. <laughs> we is, <it, it's> bro. <laughs> but nah, I feel like keep it professional. Don't even <laughs> go out on dates with him. It needs to, all the conversations that y'all have need to be about music. And once you get your shit done and start getting where you need to be, then you can kind of do what you want. But focus on your goals. Right. So like, like you was asking, how do we navigate? That's how we navigate. We don't fuck nobody. Mm -hmm. That's how we navigate. We keep it professional. Yeah, we do. Okay. Uh, last I mean, question. To a certain extent, we be cracking jokes and shit, but. Definitely, like, I'm a suck your nigga as <laughs> soon as this motherfucker stop recording. First of all, bitch, who did you say that to? Because I ain't said that to nobody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is wild. What is this? It's like Chambard. Ooh, Columbard, wait. or whatever you call okay, it. Okay, last shit. question. To my favorite I podcast. thought it was my turn. No, you read that oh, one. It mm. is the one. To my favorite podcast, the only adequate creation of humans. I know that's right. God spent a lot of time on us. I'm a 17-year-old <laughs> woman who lives in Nigeria. I just realized what you see. <laughs> Good. Good. I'm, just I'm a 17-year-old woman who lives in Nigeria. I was born in the U.S., but I'm from the Congo, and I've spent most of my life living in Africa. Same, girl, same. Although I am young, I have been listening to your podcast for years, and I am very mature for my age. I am infatuated with your demented American <laughs> culture. Did I say that right? You did, but why, is, why we got to be demented, sis? Mm. Mm. I don't like that. Everybody in the background like, mm. Your voices are the only thing that keeps me going in this sick world. My dad is cheating on my mom, who is currently in North America, trying to find a job so he can finance me going to university. This is not the first time my father has been unfaithful. My dad's infidelity has been a consistent issue in their marriage, and I know my mom will not leave him. He is a good father most of the time, and I could care less if they are together or not, but I honestly think they are better parents when they are apart. About two years ago, when we were moving to a new city in Nigeria, we lived alone with my dad. I had to do all the motherly duties, which I'm used to doing, modern slavery type things. He was cheating then too. I found condoms in the trash can, and he was coming late every night. He bought cheap ass condoms when we went grocery shopping and thought he was slick making me go get a salad while he quickly paid for it. We are, con say that word for me. Carnivores. Thank you, girl. I think. Oh, mm -hmm. see, I ain't know this time neither. <laughs> we gonna, let's edit this. <laughs> Usually I'm the smart one. <laughs> <laughs> we are we a family that don't eat meat. That's what we gonna say. Right. Ryan, you know you got We knew what it meant. We just didn't know I how did. to say it. I did. They do eat meat. Nobody in this bitch eats salad. Oh, y'all do eat. Uh. <laughs> y'all some carnivores. Y'all eat meat. <laughs> Nobody in this bitch eats salad. I hate it here. No. Oh, <laughs> we about to get canceled. <laughs> I'll be like, these hoes stupid as fuck. So we call them boys, bitch, I am too. Nobody in this bitch eats salad. I am not an idiot, and I am one, and I am not one of the boys. So I don't know why he thinks it's okay to be oblivious with his adultery. If I don't tell my mom, I fear bad karma might come to me. But I also feel as though telling her is selfish of me, and would just relieve my guilt. You make me smile when I see your notification on my phone that one of your episodes has just dropped. Your laughs breathe life into me, and I'm not the type to ask for help, but I honestly need to get it out of the way wow um, that's beautiful the ending I part I appreciate that but your mama know yeah you don't need to I feel like kids be needing to stay out of their parents business it has nothing to yeah. do well children. I know how well she probably I mean it's her mom so I get the way you're feeling but I'm telling you if you are noticing things well that's your dad too yeah but 
I mean, I get it. Just like you and your daddy was gang gang, huh? Her mama probably gang gang. Oh, now you don't want to set trip. But I would stay out of that. Like, if I, I'm not trying to be funny. If I was 17 and I felt like my daddy was cheating on my mama, I would not go tell my mama. Well, that's if anything, what, I would go have a conversation with my daddy. Right, right. I feel like definitely kind of just, you know, stay in your place with it. But I'm not trying to be funny. Your mom probably does know. She ain't stupid. She know how shit be going. Yeah, I mean, she probably does know, so... And if she's still there, she probably there because she needs to be. Or she wants to be. Need to be or want to be, either or way. Or don't care. But that's what I'm saying. It's like a lot she of She might time, got her little side piece. Now, see, don't say that. I left home to be with my side What's piece. What's the man name that sing that song? I don't know. But at the end of the day, girl, don't stress yourself out. You're only 17. Enjoy your life. Don't stress yourself out with yeah. adult issues. Like, you gonna have your enough things to worry about when you go to college. Don't stress yourself out with that. Just focus on being 17 and enjoying life. Like, like mm -hmm. I said, your mom probably knows, and if she doesn't know, that's her life. Enjoy yours. Just stay out of grown folks' business, child. Yeah, because I... Pokey. Oh, his name Big Pokey? Not Big Pokey, it's just Pokey. Oh, just Pokey. I'm thinking about Big Pokey from Houston. Mm. Shout out to Big Pokey. He died, though. Oh, he did? He did. Oh, Lord, I, Pokey died. I think he died. I'm about to Google When? Dead. I think Big Pokey died. Really? You know all the niggas who had Big in front of their name from Houston, did? <gasps> Big Mo died. Now, you know Big Mo died a long time ago. <laughs> Oh, Big Hawk too. Be they took Big Hawk. Not, he did. Not li nah, well, he sorry, not. Big Pokey. Now see, <laughs> see, stop doing that. Big Pokey's still alive. Hey, Big Pokey. Shout out to Big Pokey. Mm -hmm. His name Milton. <laughs> <laughs> now why you put that man business out there? You the pants? Milton. <laughs> That's what he say. Stop doing him like that. Po you, you disrespectful. Damn, Big Pokey still a shout out to Big Pokey. You need to come on the show. We for from what? Houston too. Don't be trying to be friendly now. You done told that man business. I didn't tell his business. I just thought I don't know. I got him confused with Big Hawk. Big Pokey, come on the show. I'm dead. Shout out to Big Pokey. Uh, why are we talking <laughs> about Big Pokey again? Because the man who sings oh. five piece name is Pokey. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yes, thank y'all so much for the questions. If you want your questions answered on the show, make sure you email us at askpoorminds at gmail.com. And make sure you get your merch, get your Dre and Licks wrap tees. Mm -hmm. Get your little two-piece. Well, they might be sold out by the time these come out. Mm -hmm. but. 